welcome back once again. Surprise, surprise, as it of well, I can't speak. As it is October, I'm pretty sure you had no idea what was coming with this tutorial. But here is my take on the nun from The Conjuring, aka Valak. Is that how it's pronounced? I can't remember. I feel like I feel like I'm saying it wrong, but at the same time, I feel like it's right. I do apologize. My nose is running like a tap. As soon as I pull contacts in, it's just everything straight out my nose. So probably too much information but I'm gonna tell you anyway anyway this is my take on Valley the demon esque nun from the conjuring there is a new one coming out quite soon and I do realize the whole trick of this is to probably not show my skin colored hand but here we are there is a new one of these coming out shortly and I cannot wait I do love the whole conjuring universe as I just find it so terrifying and I love horror movies oh, I know that's probably come as a shock to you all as this is such a nice non-terrifying channel. I feel like that was a big shock to everyone. Anyway, if you'd like to see how this makeup is created, please keep watching. Otherwise, there will be the tutorial on how to make this little three-piece nun costume coming tomorrow. I will show you how to make the cap, the throwover, and the neck piece. So yeah, you can get your nun on and become a sister. James Charles, we're coming for ya. Anyway, if you would like to see how all of this get up is created, I will leave a link below when the tutorial is live. It should be tomorrow, all going well. But that's enough chit chat. Let's get cracking. So first things first, you wanna get your hair out of your way and pop your contacts in. And then you wanna get onto the base. I'm just using the Ben Nye cream color and just applying a rough base. Don't worry if it is patchy, I think it adds to the look. Then you just wanna set the base. And then I realized that I actually didn't want my eyebrows for this look. If you did want an in-depth tutorial though, I do have one already on my page that I'll leave linked down below. Just making sure to powder them before you cover them. I am just going to cover them in concealer before I go ahead and apply the white base just to try and really hide them that little bit more. Once you are happy with your base, of course, I'm just going to go in with the blackest of blackest eyeshadows I can find and just roughly put that on. She does kind of have a smudged kind of grungy eye look. It's not perfect, but I will just admit I get distracted easy. So I've stopped on the eyes and gone onto the contour, but I will be coming back to them later, so don't worry. Now she does have quite a gaunt kind of face. Now I've got a chunky little face, so you do want to do quite a drastic contour, but now I'm back on the eyes already, just really smoking them out. And then I go on and apply the same color to the lips and smoke that out as well, just really grungy and patchy. And then I just go in and apply the same eyeshadow to my waterline, just to really black it out that little bit more. Then with a fine detail brush and actually the eyeshadow, I'm just going in and putting the veining that she has all over her face. I like to go from the darkness out onto the white, just because I feel like it makes it look like the darkness is kind of creeping in. I find by doing it with the eyeshadows as well, you can pat it out and make it look like it's under that skin a little bit more, and so it's not too drawn on. I really like to hold the brush quite lightly just to make sure that I'm not doing any harsh lines. And then I felt like my nose was standing out too much so I was putting a little bit of darkness around the edges and contouring the actual bridge of my nose to kind of make it look thin and pointed. Now I'm just with not putting any more product on the brush just going around and trying to draw on a little bit of brow feature just really subtle nothing too intense. And then that's pretty much it if you wanted to go that extra step you could of course put fake teeth in. But otherwise, just pop your headpiece on and you are right to be Valak and a scary, scary nun. Now, I do realize that the costume is not 100% accurate, but it is the best that my sewing capabilities could achieve because I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to sewing. So here we are, guys. That is the finished look. If you would like to see how I created the actual getup, I will leave a link down below when the video is live. It should be tomorrow. Fingers crossed. I will leave a link down below of all of the products that I've got going on right now, including the contact lenses. If you did want to find the exact ones, they will be down below somewhere. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on that little notification bell so you do not miss out on any of the tutorials I have coming. Oh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Yellow is such a terrifying eye color.